Welcome to our Lenten Reflection Series. Today is Saturday in the fifth week of Lent. My name is Chris McCullough, and I am Director of Evangelization and Faith Formation at the Cathedral of Mary, our Queen. Today's Gospel reading <clears throat> sets the scene for Jesus' trial and eventual passion and death. It directly follows the passage where Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. And John tells us that because of this miracle, many came to believe in him. But John also tells us that some went to the Pharisees, who went to the chief priests, and who finally called a meeting with the Sanhedrin. They had this conversation about Jesus. What are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him. And the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing, nor do you consider it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. John tells us from this day forward the Sanhedrin seek to kill Jesus. As a result, Jesus no longer appears in public. He retreats to the desert. What is interesting about this scene is that Jesus' act of bringing Lazarus back to life ultimately leads to death himself. <clears throat> and while it is not just this act, but a series of charges against Jesus that lead the Sanhedrin to pursue death for him, the paradox that John sets up cannot be missed. The time now is just before the great feast of the Passover. People are so concerned about Jesus' life and his avoidance of appearing in public that they wonder if he will appear for the Passover feast. This is a most important feast, and with the wonder about Jesus' appearance, we have the setting for Palm Sunday. I encourage you to listen to how the reading starts at the beginning of Mass on Palm Sunday. That reading is Jesus' response to the question of if and how he will appear in public for the Passover. As we close this fifth week of Lent, we can reflect on this scene which leads to Jesus' sacrificial death. We might feel like this reading has nothing to do with our daily lives. But there is a question upon which we can reflect. How are our actions, what we do, and how we interact with others, death-dealing or life-giving? While we may not be physically killing anyone, how do our exchanges and what we say bring harm to others? What are the relationships in our lives which need a life-giving word? And so let us pray. We stand at the threshold of your passion, O Lord, and we gaze upon the scene and realize the ways we have contributed to your death by how we have offended you in our behavior with those you have given to us. Give us the grace today to speak your life-giving words to those people and those situations where we have brought harm. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join us this weekend for our Palm Sunday liturgies. We have a 5 p.m. vigil mass on Saturday evening and morning masses on Sunday at 8, 9.30, and 11 a.m. And if you cannot join us for these celebrations, please watch Mass live. You can catch our live stream by going to our webpage and clicking on the button marked Watch Mass Live. We thank you for being with us today, and have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.